Hello there! In this video, I will show you how to send WhatsApp notifications from Google Sheets using Zapier. You need to log in to your Timelines AI account where you have connected WhatsApp number. Next step, you need to go to Zapier tab and copy your token in order to connect your WhatsApp with Zapier. Let's open Zapier tab. Here I have Zapier account and I also have my Google spreadsheet. Let's imagine that my spreadsheet is updated with new leads whenever I receive them from Facebook ads. Let's return to Zapier and now we will create a new Zap. You need to set up trigger and let's connect Google spreadsheet. Now as a trigger, we will have new or updated spreadsheet role. Let's connect account, connect new account, and Zapier will take you to login page where you need to log into your Google account and connect Zapier with your Google spreadsheet. Now, let's continue, and I need to choose my spreadsheet. My spreadsheet name is leads this one worksheet is the first one trigger will be okay it will be any column okay let's choose trigger column okay phone we can test the trigger it found some test it found some test contact and let's continue. Now, Zapier will ask us to specify the action. As an action, we need to choose Timelines AI and we need to specify action event, which will be send WhatsApp message, send message to new chat. And I also need to connect my account. Uh, as you remember, we copied our token from Timelines AI and now we just need to paste this token in Zapier. And from this moment, your WhatsApp numbers, which you connected to Timelines AI and Zapier, are connected. Next one, you will see all of your connected WhatsApp numbers from your Timelines AI workspace. And you can choose sender, phone number. I will choose this number. Phone number, this is phone number from your Google spreadsheet. So phone column from your Google spreadsheet. And you can set up welcome message or any other message. Something like this. And you can just test the step or you can also skip the test but I recommend you to test the step in order to see that the messages will be sent correctly and you can publish your zip so from this moment whenever you have new row in your spreadsheet it will automatically send predefined personalized message which you set up here